Okay, so this video is about um, trying to fix some animation timing I had. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted each character to play an animation when they first joined the level and for other people who are connected to see that animation play. Um, but it plays only once, so if you join late, you won't see the other players starting animations because they already joined. Um, but it had looked like this. I'll show you what the wrong way looks. So this one over here, he played his starting animation. Um, so now I'm going to join another one in. He plays his starting animation, but you notice in the client version, it replayed the start animation of the host. Over here it did not. Uh, so let's watch again here. This top right is the host. Bottom is a client. This is another client client joins, it replays everyone's starting animation. I did not want that. So I'm going to show you why that was the case. So the animation blueprint, I'm using the Wraith character. It's a free Paragon character. This is how it was connected. When the blueprint for the animation begins playing, it plays the level start montage. Um, so every time someone loaded up so the client um, joined and it started ticking the animation for everyone who was there and that animation ticking starts with the montage but that's not what we wanted so this comes into the replication that took me like three days lots of hours to figure out what we want to do is with inside the race player character blueprint now this I haven't done anything here this is all the original stuff um, I deleted some gamepad stuff, but what we do when this Wraith begins playing, we're going to check, does it have authority? If it does, that means it's the server version that just spawned. So we're going to tell everyone that I'm spawning. So this is a custom function right here. It executes, it's a multicast. So it's a server, so it has authority to tell everyone what to do. So tell all that I'm spawning. So here it is. It replicates to all. It's reliable. And what does it do? It plays that same montage for this character that we're in right now. Now, if it happens to be a client that is spawning, that's what this remote is here, then we have to tell the server I'm spawning because you can't tell the other clients that you're spawning. So this, tell the server I'm spawning, that's right here. It's run on server, it's reliable. And once it's to the server, we're gonna tell everyone that I'm spawning, which is this one, and then that one goes. So now with this hooked up, and I'm going to disconnect this, we are going to um, make sure everything's compiled and saved and we're going to start it again okay so I'm going to log in my three clients here I'm going to form a squad he plays his animation no one else is here yet I'm going to search for the there it is on my computer so I'm going to join it only plays his and uh, this one was kind of blocking it. It only played the, this is this host right here. It did not replay on the host, on the server. Uh, but I was able as the host to observe this guy playing his start animation. And over here on the client, uh, it did not replay the host. And we're going to do it one more time here. So these two that are already in should not do their animation when we join in a third. So in this window, we should see one person animating, the guy front and center that's just joined. And then on these two windows, this, the third spawn point's over here. They should observe the new person spawning. So here he comes in, there's his start animation, and it's the only one that plays. So again, that uh, took a while to figure out on the replicating. Um, but it actually turned out to be quite simple. Just to recap, the guy who's spawning, if it's being spawned on the server, it already has authority. 
tell everyone that it's spawning. It's a multicast reliable function that executes on all clients to play the animation for this new guy. Uh, if you're just a client, you are going to just tell the server that you're spawning. And that will then is a run on server reliable function that then calls tell everyone that you're spawning. Okay, that's it.